All right, back at it again. While we wait for some of these tiles and rock orders to come in, I think we're gonna work on this second elevator. The elevators often are sort of the most time consuming part and this is a pretty high climb, especially considering I need to go higher than just this right here. I actually think I wanna go up higher because I'm thinking it would be fun for there to be like some slides right here. So the start could be marbles coming down and then swirling around some slides and then into the race. But that means that the climb is actually after gonna take them all the way to the top of the slides. You can see I found some slides and some pick a brick walls. I have uh, some of these. I don't think it's gonna be anywhere enough. So I'm either gonna to have to recycle some. I have some left over here, which will help. Uh, and then potentially more from the previous Lagona track. I don't know if that's gonna be enough or not. But we'll start there and uh, see where we're at height-wise. I'm thinking I wanna have similar to this one where I can actually you know, carry three marbles wide at once. I think it adds a little drama if you know a lap is finishing and two marbles are like side by side, if they can climb together rather than you know one sort of taking a slight lead. I don't mind if one has a slight lead, but you know, if you've got the drama of marbles side by side making the climb, I think that just adds to the fun. So we're hopefully gonna do two or three wide. We'll see how much tread I have for that uh, purpose. All right, so this is a hundred pieces of tread put together. Obviously this thing needs to like overlap because it's gotta go up and down. So that would be 50 and 50. Height wise, we're pretty close to the bottom there, but we're not gonna be tall enough there. I think 150 will get us pretty close there. We're gonna start there and see how it looks. I do have three times 150 actually, so that could work out pretty well in terms of not needing to place another order. I'm gonna put this together and uh, see if we're getting close. All right, in case you're wondering how I am setting up this tread, I've got these three gears separated by these, you know, the two full length separators each. And then the bricks are what are gonna allow it to lock in. This goes at the very top of the mountain and this black piece is what's gonna hook into the motor. But this should line up perfectly so that the tread will sit inside of all three of these, uh, you know, tread lines. And then we'll repeat this same exact process one more time for the bottom so that it ends up looking, you know, like this at the top. And then of course, sort of repeat it at the bottom. I have learned through some experts that you're much better off pulling than you are pushing. Again, I am not an engineer, but bottom line is if you have this thing, the motor at the top, it's kind of pulling the marbles up and then letting gravity kind of pull it back down. But if you have the motor at the bottom, you're sort of pushing up and it causes the tread to have weird tension in things. So that's why the motor is set up at the top rather than the bottom. Hopefully this will work pretty well. This one's obviously a lot longer than the one you just saw but it's not actually as long as the Cotton Candy Mountain from the first one. So hopefully this is gonna work well. Let's try it. Okay, so ignoring the cosmetics for a second, just focused on the uh, tread itself. Ideally, the marbles are gonna come you know, down to effectively table level. And then this thing is gonna spin all the way up here, maybe a little too high, but something like this and then it'll toss the marbles off onto some kind of slightly sloped platform. And then marbles will be able to choose one of three slides that they're kind of curly cue down. And then this will be tiled and they'll you know head down towards the uh, mushroom whack-a-mole. Uh, we'll see, I'm gonna hook up the other two of these and then just kind of hand spin it first to see how that works. Okay, so upon first glance, this is working. We got three treads set up, and you know, if I hand crank this thing, you can see that it is indeed 
spinning and it doesn't take too much force. Uh, we'll have to see if the motor can handle that. It's not too bad, but there is a major problem. And that is the little uh, studs and things that are gonna have to stick off of this to actually grab the marbles, like the little fork pieces. They're gonna crash into the side of the wall here. And so that's not gonna work as this thing is coming you know, back down. So I may need a, a steeper angle, which is gonna require more tread. Uh, I'm gonna work on that now and see what we can do to solve that problem. All right, genius or stupid, not sure which, but here's what we did. We just basically took these one by four Technic bricks which were actually on all four of these studs and just shifted them over two studs. That forced the whole mechanism to the left a little bit. And I think we're gonna have enough space now. Um, if we turn this thing, it'll turn. But now the question is, will the motor do it for us? Let's go get a motor and see if even that much will work. All right, motor has been connected. We have got the battery power Bluetoothed to the power up. This is the first test. So if this thing explodes, you may hear some choice words on this video, but we're gonna go negative 25 speed, which I think is the correct speed to go uphill. Here we go. Let's find out if this is gonna work. Ready, go. Ooh, look at that. It is smooth. It is handling it. Beautiful. Really wasn't expecting it to work this well. Uh, I think we have enough clearance to put in the little uh, marble holder pieces. I'm thinking this time I'm gonna use the little um, carrot tops and see how that goes. See if these will uh, hold marbles. In the past I've used candlesticks and I've used some other pieces but I wanted to try something different this time. I will note that the holes that these things get jammed into, they're not quite the right size. So it's a little bit of a stretch to jam those things in there. But, you know, I rolled with it and went with it. I think it's okay. So now I've got some work to do to jam some of these guys into these in hopes that we'll be able to carry some marbles. That'll be sort of the final test for this elevator. Look at that thing. I'm excited. That's a long way to go up. All right, I jammed a few in there, but I realized probably should run a couple tests before spending the time to fill these things. So let's see if it'll make it through all the clearances here. Uh, yeah, it'll make that clearance. Will it make the clearance at the bottom? Let's find out. Yep. Now the question is, will it hold a marble? Uh, yeah, will it hold two marbles? Uh oh, oh, it's kind of borderline. It's sagging. Look at those carrot things sagging. Oh, where did that marble go? What in the world? Look at what happened. Well, we're gonna have to work on that. That's not gonna be acceptable. <laughs> All right, this is gonna be the moment of truth here. My fingers are so bruised from jamming all these carrot tops into this stuff, but it's done. Uh, we are Bluetoothed in, let's see. Look at this. We have got a elevator that is made of carrot tops whether they're strong enough to hold marbles, multiple marbles, whether it's too steep to be determined. Let's uh, let's try, you know, marbles and see what happens. Will they fit? They're, they're fitting, right? There they go. Obviously we're gonna have a platform right here to feed into the, uh, to feed into the slides, which will then trigger, you know, the whole thing. The next step is going to be somehow to make sure that this is downhill enough that we can make sure the marbles get into those 
uh, carrot tops. We don't want them to fall down here. Obviously we'll build some walls so they don't go to the sides, but the major problem is if they fall down here because then the carrot tops won't be able to pick them up. But this is uh, a project that takes some work and it looks to me like it's gonna get the job done. We're just gonna have to get the marbles you know, into the carrot tops, but I think we're there. Now we can really focus, probably the next step is this little section of the villain area right here, getting the marbles into the carrot tops. Maybe we'll work on this part into the uh, slides because that'll just be fun to work on as well. But this was a project today. I'm kind of glad it's done. It's not my favorite part of building these marble tracks, but there it is for you. Carrot top elevator, ready to go for the Lego on a 500. Thanks for being here, guys. We'll see you next time.